Good morning guys and welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to go through two separate days in my current workout program where I'm gonna show you how you can blend lifting and running into your program. You can lift and you can run and you can have both of those things in your program as long as you have structure and that's what we're really gonna go through today. Now before we hop into the video, I do wanna say that we are doing a full 25% off sale. This is the biggest sale that we've done with our apparel line and with our supplement line. So if you are interested in checking out the brand, stocking up on some of our Fit Grind Whey Protein, or you'd like to pick up a new gym outfit, head over to the link in the comments in the description after you're watching the video. Like I said, we're doing a full Memorial Day sale, 25% off. This will be the biggest sale of the year until Black Friday. So don't miss out on the sale. Check it out. The link is in the description and the comments below, fitgrindformula.com. With that said, guys, let's hop into the video. We're gonna hop into our shoulder and arm workout first. And then tomorrow we're gonna go for an eight mile run and show you how I'm blending both of those in my program. All right, so starting this shoulder and arm workout, went through a little dynamic warm up, did a little rowing warm up. I did 15 cows on the rower, full dynamic warm up, and then started off with a primer. So the primer that I did today was specifically for the biceps and triceps. This is something that you can add that is gonna be great. So I did three rounds of this. I did sets of 10 on dips, just nice, easy tempo on the way down, and then superset it with a flexed arm hang. And with a flexed arm hang, focusing on trying to just hold yourself up with your biceps. Yes, your lats are gonna work, your core is gonna work, but it's a great way just to start to get your biceps to fire and are two good strength movements that you can prime your body with, especially if you're targeting your biceps and your triceps to just get those muscles ready for the workouts. You can also add weight over time if you get stronger in your dips and even on that flexed arm hang. The next supers that we went to was meant to overload. So we're working on eccentric reps. So I did an eccentric skull crusher and an eccentric curl. So with the skull crusher, what we're doing is we're eccentrically loading and going about three to four seconds on the way down and choosing a weight that you can lift that you wouldn't be able to lift strict reps with, bring it forward, and then you do a bench press to get that weight back up. So we're overloading the triceps. And I think biceps and triceps are a muscle group that a lot of people focus not on overloading you know there's there's still muscle they still need to be overloaded you still need to be getting stronger from week to week and this is a great exercise that you can do so to load a little bit heavier than you would be able to with a strict skull crusher and then supersetting that with a hammer curl up flip your grip nice slow eccentric curl on the way down on both of these the goal was to stay between the six to eight rep range and hit muscle failure so if i could get eight increase the weight and on that last set, you should only be able to get six reps max to where you're, you're trying to overload and get stronger, especially for the biceps and the triceps. So after that, we moved into our next superset. I did a shoulder flexion cable curl. So this is a great exercise that's gonna mimic a preacher curl. You just have to make sure that you keep your arms out in front of yourself and focus on just using your biceps, work through a full range of motion, but this is a great one to target the short head of your bicep, the inside of your bicep. So making sure that not every exercise that you do is targeting the exact same muscle group. And then supersetting it with a tricep pushdown. Again, keeping these heavy. Both of these are three by eight. And everything is 10 or below on the workout today, where a lot of times shoulders and arm workouts, we're trying to go like high volume, high reps, which is great. Like I said, you also need to get stronger over time. So even on an exercise like a curl or a tricep pushdown, go in sets of eight and keep it heavy. After that third exercise or fourth superset now, single arm kind of hybrid movement, a tricep kickback pushdown. So the goal is to get your arm behind yourself. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna hit the long head of your tricep. So just like an overhead extension would, that's kind of that big meaty back part of your tricep that doesn't get hit unless you kind of get your arm behind yourself or over yourself did sets of eight to 10, again, heavy on that, no more than, than 10. If you get 10, increase the weight, and then supersetting that again with eight to 10 strict behind the back incline dumbbell curls. The last part for the shoulders, we did a tricep between three different exercises. Again, everything is eight here. We're gonna do eight reverse flies, focusing on just lifting that weight with your rear delts. Stand up, and you're gonna do eight lateral raises, again, just using your shoulders to lift the weights. Make sure that you keep neck nice and relaxed. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Make sure that you are not lifting with your traps or using momentum. And then you're going to flip into a hammer grip and do 10 palms up, or sorry, 10 hammer grip style front raises. Again, just isolating just the shoulders. We did three rounds on this. 
that is the end of the bicep and tricep workout. All right, so just finished up that shoulder and arm workout. Kind of a quick one in between training sessions. I get it back to a couple of sessions, but I'm gonna show you what I do post-workout. This is pretty much a staple for me. It's something that I do almost every time after a workout, especially just in between sessions that I'm working out throughout the day. Just easy to get down quick. So I have two scoops of our Fit Grind Whey Protein, and then I have an apple. Usually I'll do like an apple or banana or some clementines just to get some carbs. I have a training session next, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna eat post-workouts next. But overall, that is just a good arm workout that you can go through. Like I said, that workout is more of a strength-based workout where a lot of times when you're doing volume workouts and arm workouts, there's gonna be a lot of higher rep stuff, which is good. But I find that a lot of times with the arms, you also need to be looking for ways that you can overload and just slightly get stronger. So most of the exercises with your triceps and your biceps and a lot of shoulder exercises are a lot of isolation where there's only a certain limit to the amount of weight that you can lift on say like a lateral raise or a dumbbell curl. But you gotta find ways that you can overload and get stronger over time because if you're lifting the same weight on a curl now and the same weight next year, you're not gonna make any sort of progress. So I'm gonna down my protein shake. Like I said, this is 25% off the whole Memorial Day weekend. So normally 39.99, it is on sale for 29.99. So. We're doing that sale. We don't do a lot of sales with our protein powder. This is actually the first sale that we've done, but we want more people to try it and just get to experience how awesome this protein is, how well it mixes, how good it tastes, and also has its zero grams of sugar. That's kind of the big key with our, our supplements is we don't want a big long laundry list of ingredients that you don't know why they're in there. Very simple, naturally sweetened, zero sugar, um, and this can be a great whey protein that you can down after your workouts or use as an extension of your diet. So like I said, go check it out. Link is in the description below if you are interested. I'll see you guys in the next clip. We'll go through the full meal that I do after my workout. So finished up my training session, came back home for some lunch. I'm doing some breakfast for lunch. Fun fact, I could eat breakfast probably three meals a day if I if I wanted to. I could I could do that every day, but usually I don't. I usually have breakfast like twice a day. So I have some toast, I have two whole eggs, four egg whites, and then two pieces of toast with some Kerrygold Irish butter. And then also mixing that with a scoop of our Fit Grind Grains powder. This will be releasing in the fall of 2024. So super excited with that. Usually I'll also do when I drink my greens is I'll have a scoop of our Fit Grind Electrolytes. The mixed berry and the pink Starburst flavor go really well together. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're doing a eight mile run tomorrow. So I'll show you what I'm doing tomorrow morning for the workout, around the workouts to show you how I'm mixing, lifting and running in my program to not only just be a runner, not only be a bro that lifts weights to show you how you can blend both of those in your program and still see great results in building muscle but also improve your cardiovascular system at the same time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm ready to go for an eight mile run. All right, so it is currently the next day and I messed up and forgot to take my camera with us for the run. So we just finished up the run, came back home, took a shower. So we're gonna do this in reverse order. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating after the run. And then in the next scene, we'll talk about the run talk about some strategy with running, talk about how you should approach running in your program. And that's the whole idea behind this hybrid training, mixing, lifting, and running is you can do more lifting, you can do more running. It's kind of whatever you want to structure around, but you always should have both in your training, but there needs to be structure. It can't just be this arbitrary program where there's no structure. So what me and my wife like to do on our long run days, what we like to do is we'll get something sweet after the run. You know, we really like to practice balance with our nutrition. We've both been to those places where we've been very anal, and this is something we just like to do, and it's kind of fun together. We go for a long run together, and then we go get some sort of sweet treat. Today, we've got some Halo Top ice cream. 
I got the chocolate caramel brownie and Alyssa got the peanut butter cup. So we're gonna eat this. I'm also gonna down before I eat my ice cream. One serving of our Fit Grind Greens with one serving of the pink Starburst Fit Grind Electrolytes. The electrolytes will be coming out here in the next month or so. Kind of just waiting for the order to get shipped to us. And then the greens will be coming out in the fall, but this is an awesome combo. I'm super excited for you guys to try it. The pink Starburst and the mixed berry flavor mix super well together. Um, it is something just after a long run, it's super refreshing. So I'm going to down my greens real quick. We're going to enjoy some Halo. I'll see you in the next clip and we'll talk about the eight mile run, talk about how I did and how I'm really approaching the running in my program right now. All right, so we're gonna go over the results of the run. So today, messed up, didn't bring my camera, but I'm gonna go through all the details and provide you guys some more structure on what I'm currently doing with running and how to attack running with a plan. You know, a lot of times when people run, they think that, especially having an athletic background, they think that every run has to be hard. And I've made that mistake time and time again. And I'm here to tell you that if you run every run hard and you lift every session heavy, you're just going to spin your wheels. You're going to burn out. So let's provide some more structure on how you can actually improve as a runner, how you can get faster, how you can build more endurance. And that's what we'll really cover. But first let's go over today's run. So on my Tuesday run, I'm trying to, to increase endurance and I'm trying to slowly increase training and running volume from week to week. So today I ran eight miles. What I'm doing is I'm increasing my mileage one mile every two weeks. So today I'd increased from a mile from seven miles last week to eight miles this week. So I'd run two seven mile weeks the previous two weeks. So then I increased to eight today. And the goal of this run is not to run fast. This goal of this run is to run aerobically. The goal is to be able to just continue a pace because that's how you're going to build endurance. So my average pace today, I ran eight miles and nine minutes and 11 seconds was the average mile. And my goal was, that was exactly what I wanted to do was I wanted to run my miles anywhere between nine and nine 30. Now this is a pace that I can really hold for a long time. This is not necessarily a challenging pace, but what that's going to do is that's going to help me build endurance. And I made that mistake before where I go out and I run every single run hard and I'm always running anaerobically. And what happens if you're trying to blend lifting and running together is it takes away from your ability to push during your strength training sessions and recover. And you actually don't build any endurance. You're going to build endurance through improving your aerobic energy system. And you're going to be able to do that by keeping your heart rate lower when you run. So that was the goal today on these longer runs. I'm currently running two times a week in my program where one day is this long run where we're going to slowly build up mileage every two weeks, adding a mile. And then I also do another faster repeat workout, whether that's a Farlick workout, whether that's a track workouts. Um, currently right now I'm doing some repeats because we have Murph on Saturday where I'm doing some running in my vest and doing some 400 meter repeat type style of workouts that is definitely more anaerobic, but is going to help with Murph. And then when we're done with Murph, that's still going to turn into some track workouts, some tempo workouts. Those are workouts going to help build your anaerobic efficiency and become faster as a runner. So my biggest tip with lifting and running is one, figure out if you want to have a 50, 50 split, if you want to prioritize lifting more than running, or if you want to prioritize running more than lifting, you know, say maybe that you have a race coming up. I just came off my half marathon prep. My running had a little bit higher priority in my program than my lifting did. Now I'm getting into a style where I want to build muscle, want to build strength. I want to feel stronger. So I'm placing a little bit more emphasis on lifting, but I'm still running my program twice a week. And that allows me to swivel if I want to go into a race or sign up for a race, but it also allows me to train the way that I want to. So that would be my advice for you is figure out what you want to do, structure a program around that, but always still have some sort of lifting and some sort of running or some sort of conditioning in your program, because blending both of those is very powerful. It's going to help you not just be a meathead where you can lift a bunch of weight, but it's just going to help you build in a, an aerobic energy system and build endurance. And it's just going to be healthy for your heart. It's going to be healthy for your body. It's going to be healthy for your mind to be efficient at both of those. So I'm a huge believer that you can lift and you can run. You just have to have structure and you need to ask yourself, what is your goal? What is it that you're trying to achieve and structure a program around that? So my current program right now, I'm lifting five days of the week, training everything twice a week. And I'm also running two times of the week. So that is currently how I'm lifting and running. Now, 
Like I said, we're having that full 25% off Memorial Day sale. So if you're interested in supporting the brand, checking out our whey protein powder, stocking up on some protein powder, or getting a new gym outfit, go check it out. Like I said, this is the biggest sale that we're gonna do until Black Friday. So if you'd like to support the brand, we appreciate the support. Head over to fitgrindformula.com. I'll leave the link in the comments in the description below. And if you guys found anything helpful in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. You know, my goal with content moving forward, coming off this half marathon prep, is just to kind of document the things that I'm doing with my workouts, but also document the progression of Fit Grind, this brand and this gym. You know, me and my wife started this brand three years ago and we still have very big plans in the future and we have goals that we're working towards every day. And I would love to document that and share that process because it's not easy. It's not all fun and games. There are a lot of amazing things that come from being a business owner and working with your wife, but there's also a lot of challenging things. And that's just something I wanna keep documenting on YouTube. And I feel very strongly about that. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys have any questions around anything, training, nutrition, supplementation, owning a gym, um, anything, let me know. I'd love to help out any way that I can. Just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great Memorial Day. Have a great Murph if you're hitting Murph. And I'll see you guys in the next one.